Dave, tell me how was uh, how was the first leg? Uh, it was good. It was a little tough, a uh, little headwind a lot of today, but uh, we made the, the best of it and got through it. Tell me about these riders, uh, all walks of life, so to speak. All I take it they're all firefighters. Yeah, they're all firefighters, either full time uh, or or volunteer firefighters. Uh, we have one from Newfoundland again this year. He's I think this is his third year he's been riding with us. We have a group of about 20 from Ottawa, 22 from Toronto, a few from Hamilton, Oakville area as well. What's this about? Uh, so it's about uh, raising awareness and uh, hopefully some funds for the Canadian Fallen Firefighters Foundation. Tell me what that is. Uh, so it, it's a non-profit organization that's run totally by um, charity money that is raised. Uh, they bring the families to Ottawa every year, uh, those that are being recognized that year. They also set up a bursary for children of uh, the fallen firefighters that have died in the line of duty. As well, they have a Camp Faces, which is a grieving camp that they can send families to. It's outside of Peterborough, uh, so that the families can deal with uh, their grieving process. Tell me about how, um, we spoke about this yesterday, we touched on it, but tell me about how uh, most, if not all, of the firefighters that are lost in the line of duty are lost by um, illness. Yeah, occupational illness, yeah. It's, it's huge right now. Um, yeah, like you say, there's not that many died like from uh, an actual fire or an accident scene. There are a few, but the majority are uh, uh, for an occupational, and a lot of them are cancers. That we tell deal me, with. Yeah, and tell me about that, like, because the average person wouldn't know this, but I mean, tell me, tell me why, I guess, because of, you know, we touched on it yesterday, but the toxicity of things that people are making or they factors. Yeah, are... yeah, the furniture, the, uh, the furniture that's being made or given off gases, uh, the plastics, that sort of thing. Uh, even chemical fires now, uh, you know, the drug labs that we go into that may catch fire and stuff like that to put out, you know, it's all putting off dangerous gases to us. And just to make people aware, people that go inside there are wearing breathing apparatus, but again, like we touched on yesterday, you can't have firefighters staying a kilometer away and trying to fight a fire like it should be yeah, possible. So. Yeah, and uh, even though we do wear bunker gear and, you know, we wear our hoods and our SCBAs, after a fire, you, you still can smell a fire on your body for a couple of days. So it's got to be absorbed into your skin, into your, you know. Let me ask you a question. How much have, have you raised over the years with this, and uh, what's it like when you head into Ottawa? Uh, so I, I believe right now we're just under $50,000 for this year, which will put us over $200,000 that the bike ride has raised over the six years. Uh, going into Ottawa is a huge, huge afternoon that, uh, we go on the parkway and we start going along the river and we can see the, the parliament buildings ahead of us and uh, it's so uplifting. It's a relief that we're there and uh, we see the families are there. Uh, Ottawa Fire will have a couple of apparatus on scene and it's just amazing. Last question. Um, I know it must have been tough all the way from Hamilton, but when you're going along the lakeshore in Port Hope, what's that like, the scenery like when you're looking over? Oh, it's Chile? great. It's great. When we, when we drop down uh, from Newcastle onto the lake there, it's, it's a refreshing ride in for, you know, that last hour and a bit to get in here on a long day. It's, uh, it's definitely, it's enjoyable. I might as well get you now for tomorrow because tomorrow you're going to have a special, I We're, guess, meeting or? Yeah, a little it, ceremony with, uh, with the wife of a member that's being recognized uh, this year from Coburg. Yeah. Don, Don King and very well known, very loved uh, around the community. Uh, he was an Air Force firefighter and then he joined with Coburg and spent his, uh, spent his career with Coburg. But I mean, that's got to be, when you meet these people personally, that's got to be emotional. It certainly is emotional. Yeah. It, it, it gives reality to why we're doing this. And I think a lot of the riders that, you know, are new to this see it and then they really realize why, why we're doing this and why they are doing it.